lipstick, gloss or pencils. Glossy and shimmering in powdery pink, naked with sparkling touches or classic red and matte. To pick the best products for getting beautiful lips is a challenge. Here are the experts' tips to help you succeed. Have you ever wondered how to get that perfect pout, or are you simply curious which products that will work wonders for your unique lip shape? We decided to get the experts' best tips for lips for every style. We met with Oriflam Global Artistic Beauty Director Jonas Rommel to catch up on his best tricks. What should you consider when choosing lipstick? If you're young you can try a fairly light pigmentation. Light pink, beige, nude, soft pink, vintage rose. You can add some glitter as well if you like, a little shine. I think the older you get, the more you can move towards a more moisturized texture, moving on to a matte lipstick if you wish. Also I think that the more pigment you want, the more matte your shade of lipstick should be. So if you go for a rouge noir, do you want it to be matte, because that color looks better than a similar one with a high shine? What is the difference between liquid lipstick and lip gloss? A lip gloss always gives shine to your lips. That's the whole point of gloss. A liquid lipstick gives your lips pigment, but not always shine. It can just create a beautiful moisturizing feel. What is a hybrid product? A hybrid is a mix of lip gloss, lipstick and lip tint, all in one. When do you recommend using a lip liner? You can use a lip liner when you want to add a little shape. It's also great for correcting as most often, we have a slightly crooked upper lip, or the contour fades out with age, or there's a drop in pigmentation, then I recommend using a lip liner. You can also use it if you want a very bold, long-lasting effect. Sometimes I use a little liner, blurring the line a little with my finger without adding anything on top.